is Michelle Reed. If you guys just clicked on this video, I make lifestyle videos, I make work videos, I make a lot of different videos, but today's video specifically is going to be 20 things I no longer buy or own. I love watching these videos and I just wanna say that I'm not like a minimalist. I am trying to buy less, but it's more for budgeting reasons versus like just not wanting to have a lot of stuff. I also live in New York City, even though I'm home right now in Texas. So I don't have a lot of space. And so I have recently been trying to kind of incorporate more minimalism habits in my life, but not necessarily being fully a minimalist because I do still have stuff, I buy stuff, I do own things, but these are 20 things that I have kind of eliminated or I'm in the process of eliminating from my life. So a couple of days ago it was Black Friday and then Cyber Monday. I'm home for Thanksgiving right now, but I don't know if you guys felt like this, but I just felt so overwhelmed on Black Friday by the amount of bloggers and influencers and everyone doing ads and links and buying things. And I just got to a point where I felt so overwhelmed and I don't wanna act like I don't do sponsorships or I don't link things, but I do try to only do sponsorships and ads and link things that are things I incorporate into my daily life. Like my blue light glasses, like my dress from Let Clothing that I literally wear like once a week, stuff like that, but I don't consume as much stuff. I started saying no to doing, you know, hauls, videos that I used to do a lot more of because I just don't really like having a lot of stuff. And I find that my life is simpler and it's it's just a lot more manageable and my budget and my savings look a lot better when I don't spend as much money. And I know that seems like a really simple thing, but I'm trying to shift my channel away from materialism and more into kind of simplicity and enjoying your life and being grateful for your life and living it. And you know, still doing sponsorships here and there for brands that like I really like and that I support. But besides that, just really trying to be more thoughtful about the content that I create, which is why I wanted to post this video, which is 20 things that I no longer buy or own. A little plug if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, it's at Michelle Reed. I post a lot of content that's just like similar to my videos. And so you should definitely check me out on there. Got myself a nice cup of hot tea. Number one is souvenirs on trips. This is something that I don't think I ever was a huge souvenir buyer, but I do know it's very tempting when you go on trips to buy little like trinkets and things to kind of remember a trip or like a t-shirt or something like that those are things that i kind of stopped doing as much for one i just feel like they're usually a lot more overpriced i would rather buy something that i'm actually going to use if i'm like visiting a city or something rather than buying something to like remember the trip i think it's a lot different when you have kids and you're buying stuff for kids because i think like kids like toys and things like that but for me like an adult i just feel like i don't really need souvenirs anymore it's not something that like if i go to san francisco i don't need like a san francisco bridge sitting on my desk for the sake of it like stuff like that i just feel like i don't really need number two is excessive produce i'm a big grocery shopper i love grocery shopping but there are times when i just buy way too much specifically vegetables fresh vegetables that i don't end up using and it's seriously like i will end up throwing away all the produce that i bought because i didn't actually use it if it's like a vegetable i always eat all my fruit but vegetables for some reason i just don't do and so i stopped buying those things which sounds bad like you're not buying vegetables at the grocery store but things like that that i just know i'm not actually going to make i don't really want to buy anymore i usually spend about like 70 dollars every week and a half when i grocery shop but it's cut down to around like 60 because i stopped doing that and i think it's a great way to save number three is takeout foods in excess i don't like buy food and bring it home and eat it that often i don't like buy lunch whenever i'm like working stuff like that those are things that i started to cut out i still do like maybe once a week but i would rather like go out to a nice dinner with my boyfriend aiden for a date night or like go get drinks with my friends something like like that rather than buying takeout for myself. Number four is fresh flowers. I definitely still buy flowers every once in a while, but it used to be like I would buy flowers every time I went to the grocery store. And it was just that extra like seven, eight dollars I would add on that really does make a difference. Something that I started doing recently was instead of getting flowers, I will buy greens. So like eucalyptus or leaves, things like that. Because if you buy those, they will dry out and they will last a month and they'll just look pretty. And I basically always have have those on my vanity and then I kind of reserve flowers for special occasions so like every time I come home in Texas my mom has like flowers on my vanity and it's like a special occasion because I'm home I'm visiting or like say Aiden gets me flowers and it's like a special occasion it's something different it's not just me buying flowers every week number five is food delivery services I've never been someone who is a big uber eats or postmates buyer I just don't like to do that I figure if I can't get up and go get food then like that's my own problem and I don't need to spend 50 $15 on a delivery fee because sometimes that is what it is in New York City every once in a 
while like literally every once every like four months i'll do it if it's snowing raining something like that but for the most part i just cut it out number six is airpods and this is a very specific one because it is something that i seriously i don't know if anyone else agrees with me on this and maybe it's just because i live in the city but it drives me nuts when people have their airpods in all the time and it always reminds me if you guys have read fahrenheit 451 they talk about the seashells that people wear in their ears and they just wear them all the time and they're constantly stimulated i feel like that's what airpods are like and i've always felt that way so i refuse to buy airpods i like the idea of bluetooth headphones for like running working out stuff like that but the fact of like wearing them on your commute while you're working while you're home like i just i don't like it and i don't i seriously don't know anyone else who agrees with me on this so let me know if you do number seven is car expenses while the city is expensive you don't have to pay for a car unless you want to own a car in the city which is insanely expensive but you don't have to pay for gas or insurance or just like upkeep on your car and that's one thing that's really nice i spend 120 dollars a month on my metro card but besides that that is it for you know my travel expenses eight is notebooks and stationery i started having a rule for myself where i don't buy another notebook unless all my notebooks at home are filled out it's so easy to go into paper source and like look at everything and be like this notebook's so cute and then you have one that seriously hasn't even been filled out all the way that is something that i don't do anymore i have like a little yellow moleskin that i use for like my bible journaling notes for work like everything i just put in this notebook and honestly that's all i need and i stopped buying cute stationery number nine is decor this is a big thing that i feel like i used to buy a lot of decor whether that be like for christmas or holiday even just things to put in my room i have recently just stopped buying that much one because i usually can't store it in my apartment because my apartment's so small but it's also like I just don't like it for Christmas I love having like lights up I love having a Christmas tree and that's kind of it like I don't need extra stuff even in my room I don't have anything on my walls which is something that I feel like I would have never done in the past and maybe that's because my walls are concrete and so I just don't really want to pay someone to put something up because I don't know how to put it up but I really like it I like having less in my room it makes me less stressed and I just feel a lot more at ease being in there when there's not a lot number 10 is skincare this is one that I've been doing for the past three months I would say I have totally ditched like all my skincare i still use a few products from ula henriksen every now and then but i basically just use a face wash i use a toner like three times a week moisturizer like three times a week and that's kind of it if i have pimples i'll use tea tree oil and that's kind of it and I used to be someone who would like collect skincare and just have a lot. And then I just realized that that makes my skin break out. It takes up a lot of like counter space and it's just not something I do anymore. Number 11 is cheap clothing. This is a big one that I've stopped doing. And I didn't want to say that I just stopped buying clothes because I still buy clothes, you'll see. But I stopped buying things just because, you know, they were cheap in price or the quality was cheap. I am just at a point in my life where I want to invest in quality pieces that I actually like and that I wear every day. And I'm not ashamed to like wear the same thing every week anymore and so i don't see the point in you know skipping out on clothes 12 is things that i already have and this one might seem kind of like duh why would you buy something that you already have but if you like think about your life there are probably so many things that you have duplicates of because you really like it like for instance if i have like a nude lipstick that i really like i will usually like only buy nude lipstick and then i'll have like five of the same colors it's stuff like that that i've stopped doing like if i have one that i really like i'll just have that one and that's it even for jeans like i'll have one pair of jeans that's the same wash and I don't need another pair of jeans in that same wash just because like I like the pair that I have 13 is planners planners is something that I've always wanted to be the girl who like writes down everything in my planner and sticks to it and I like it but honestly guys I only use the notes app in my phone and I don't really use like a physical planner definitely prefer just writing out my to-do list on like a sheet of paper every day rather than like having it in a planner so that is something that I just stopped buying because they can be really really expensive 14 is single occasion clothing and this is a new one because there are so many services now that allow you to rent clothes like rent the runway or there's a store in New York I'll put the name right here but they literally let you rent stuff for free and it's just like it's crazy and it's really nice stuff and I used to be someone who liked to buy like a new dress if I had like a really fun date I was going on I go to the Nutcracker with Aiden every year and I like to like dress up for that and I usually buy a new dress but this year I'm just gonna go like rent one at one of those services and it's just so much cheaper than buying like a nice dress every time that you need one and it's also like better for the environment it's just really great and I'm gonna start doing that going forward. 15 is nail polish. 
This is one that I'm just gonna be honest. I buy my nails. They're not cute. They've never been cute. They're short. They're stubby, but I just don't mind it. There's something about like my nails that I don't really care about. I have like two nail polishes that if I need to paint my toenails, I'll use it for. But other than that, I don't buy nail polish. 16 is cheap haircuts. I, in the city, I'm doing a video on my week of spending in Texas. And guys, and I get a full balayage. My haircuts are expensive. I just got it done today. Very expensive. But the thing is, I would rather invest in services like that rather than buying, you know, a lot of hair products to keep up with the haircuts and then you just don't like it. That's just something that I don't really want to do anymore. 17 is things that are on sale. And I don't mean that I don't buy anything that's ever on sale because like I love a good sale, but I mean that I don't just buy things because they're on sale anymore. Just because someone's linking it on their Instagram and it's something that's cute and it's $40, it's on sale, so I'm just gonna buy it. It's stuff like that that I feel like really adds up when you spend the money on those things. And it's something that I just like don't really do anymore. 18 is multiple books. And what I mean by this is I don't buy a book unless I finish the book that I previously bought. There was a time when I would just keep buying books and then I would never finish one. I'd get halfway through and I'd be bored of it so I'd buy a new one. But I think it really builds character reading books that are kind of boring but finishing them. And so it's something that I started and I recently bought this book, The Woman in the Window. It was really good. I bought it at the airport because I'd finished all my books and I read it through and it was so good and now I'm ready to buy a new one because I finished that one. I know a lot of people say that they just cut out buying books altogether but I think books are like timeless and I love the feeling of reading with like a solid real book on the couch with like a cup of tea it just is a vibe and it's not really something that i'm willing to give up 19 is excessive gifts because it's the holidays because it's christmas time i feel like it's very easy to get caught in the trap of buying really nice gifts for every single person that you love in your life and like giving gifts is a beautiful thing it's great it is like nice to do but i feel like there does come a point when it becomes excessive and you're spending way too much money on the gifts that you're buying and so something that i really appreciate that my family does is we each have one person in our family who we do an exchange with so then you can just invest all the money that you would have spent on like multiple people on that one person and buy them something nice but not feel guilty for not buying other people anything and the last one is an apple watch this is something that i feel like i have never been someone who really wanted to purchase i find that i'm already on my phone all the time and so the fact that i would have like an apple watch and a phone just does not work for me i feel like i would be on technology all the time and that's totally okay if you like apple watches and maybe it makes you on your phone less but that's something that I just personally feel like I don't need that a lot of people have and it's great like if you work out a lot I totally get it it's nice but it's just not a necessity in my own life and it's not really something that I ever feel the need to own so those are 20 things that I no longer purchase or own I hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to let me know down below what something is that you never really buy anymore something that maybe you bought in the past that you don't anymore something that you've never purchased something that you feel like people don't really need to own that they do let me know down below I'd love to hear it I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye friends.